I have a, had a surprise waiting for me when I got home from school. I don't know what's in there. I don't even know if I knew it existed. So let's check it out. Oh, Skippy Doo toys! It looks like he. We have Daphne and the Skeleton Man. This one looks like we have Shaggy and the Wolf Man. This one looks like we have Scooby and Frankenstein's monster. And this final one looks like we have Velma and Dracula. Now we're ready to take them out of the packages. First up, we have Velma and Dracula. I haven't seen this episode, so I really don't know what happens. And so, these figures are kind of hard to get out. Here we have Velma. She's wearing her red skirt and orange sweatshirt like always. You can move her feet front and back by the top or down here. The arms, you can do the same. You can twist her head side to side. And that was Velma. Next we have Dracula. This one's really hard. Oh! Dracula has a gray shirt and a black tie. He also has this big cape, which makes him hard to balance. He will do it, but if you just give him a little touch, he'll fall over. Yep. Next up, we have Shaggy and the Wolfman. And I've seen this episode, and they, the Wolfman locked the gang in a cupboard looking thing and they couldn't find any way out. The windows were locked, but Shaggy and Scooby saved them. Here's Shaggy. He has a green shirt and his hands can move up and down, so can his legs. And he even has a little bit of his hair sticking up. That was Shaggy. Oh, stand him up. About to throw him on the floor with the other boxes. Here's the wolf man. He doesn't have any shoes on and may, mostly all of him is green. But not mostly all of him, just all his clothes are green. This guy, you can only move his arms. You can't move his legs or his head. And that's the wolf man. Now it's time to head up to Daphne and the Skeleton Man. Well, Daphne fell out, so we're going to review her first. She has her pink little, I don't know what to call it, like pants type stuff, and her purple dress and shirt like always, the orange hair and the purple headband, like always, the green mascot, like always. Same little parts as all the other figures. This monster has all the same movable parts as the people. Not a, the same as all the other monsters. Of course, you can move his legs like that and his arms. He's the skeleton man, of course. And in the episode, 
The skeleton men were caught in a crane when Fred was controlling it, and they dropped the monsters, and they finally got to amass them after they dropped them in the box. Now we're going to open to the fourth and final pack. Scooby and the Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein's monster fell out. So let's review him first. He really does look like Frankenstein. He still has green skin like the Frankenstein is supposed to have. And a uh, purple, looks purple t-shirt. Not really a t-shirt, but a shirt. And black hair. That was the Frankenstein's monster and the final character we're going to be re reviewing is Scooby-Doo. You can move his legs and his other legs. He has black spots all over him and his tail can move side to side too. You can also move his head. And those were the things that I got in my mystery pack. Hope you enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!